So, here we built a trade route and I will explain how this works. The trade route will get gold if you send it to city-states or cities of other civilization. It will get you gold and them probably a little bit as well. If you keep it internal, you will get food and production. Depending on the districts your cities have, you may get more food or production. Up here you can see what trade routes you have available. Because we have so many cities, we have of course lots of trade routes available. But as you can see, there are some, for example, if I send from Agra to Chennai, for if I would move the trade route to here and then send it up here, I will get plus two food and one production. So more than this city can get. Why? Because this city has already finished the district. This improves the, the trade route food gain. Also, I can send trade routes to other civilizations. And if the trade routes, if their cities have also already districts or lots of improvements, then, for example, from Mbanza Congo, I will get more production in addition. Later on, you will get a lot of money, a lot of other stuff out of these trade routes. It's really worth a lot. And longer trade route will also get more money because when a trade route passes through a city or ends in a city, it will establish, what is it called? A trading post and when afterwards a, tr a trade route passes through a trading post to its destination it will get more money also the trade route will establish a road between the cities where it passes it will establish the road tile by tile and this road can be used for movement by other units as well that's why my scout had such an easy time down here over these hills because America already has a trade route going here. Although I have to admit his trade route is a little bit dangerous so close to a barbarian encamp. But well it's America. Well, the Zulu are someone you don't want to have as your neighbor. Too bad it's a neighbor to America. So, the trade out. What are we doing with it? Now, if we had a city that we really needed to grow, or that really needed production, I would get it, move it to that city, and send the trade out to Chennai. But since that's not the case, I could send one from Agra to Basing Se. Wait, can I do that? Let's check. If that's not too far. Agra to Basing Se, that's possible. Or vice versa. Let's do it vice versa, actually. Because my capital can make good use of that. And because trade routes give much more gold and over time, and also these roads and the good benefits stuff, I recommend getting more trade routes. Now I got the boost to currency and here we come to the way you can get more trade routes. Right now I have one out of one trade route. If I build the commercial hub and build a market in that commercial hub, then I get another trade route capacity. This means I can build one more trade route. Since you can have one commercial hub per city, I would recommend building commercial hubs in all the cities. It's also really easy to place. In this city I can't because I just placed the holy site. But for example in my capital I could check, I could build here, the commercial hub would give me adjacency. Two gold for being next to a river. That's really nice. This city has not such an easy way for that. While this city could really make great use of a commercial hub. Also this city, especially because this city has not many other districts that get a big benefit because most campus needs mountains. No mountains here. Holy site needs mountains as well. No mountains here. Encampment, I don't need an encampment over here since America is my friend. 
government plaza i'll explain that in the other video that is about districts and that you that i don't build in agra so yeah therefore i mean in the long run you want to trade a commercial hub in all your cities commercial hub is no matter what victory condition you go for always a must have in every city and with this it would mean one two three four five six soon seven seven cities seven more trade routes i would have eight trade routes if every trade route gives me five money i will get 40 bucks per turn just from trade routes and i can tell you in the late game they will give you much more than five bucks 